Hello and welcome to Kenyan Secrets. After parents requested that the government of President William Ruto postpone the reopening of educational establishments, the dates for school reopenings might be pushed back even further. This is meant to guarantee that the learning centers have adequate infrastructure, according to the Parents' Association. In order to accommodate the date that students will be moving on to junior secondary schools, parents want the reopening dates pushed back. President Ruto is being urged by the National Parents Association, NPA, to push back the reopening dates so that enough classrooms and labs can be set up before the first-year junior secondary students return. The National Parents Association proposes delaying the reopening of educational establishments for up to two months. Silas Abihatsa, the chairperson of the NPA, stated, the government has the right to postpone the reopening of schools for one or two months so that these structures can be in place before learning can resume. This was said by Silas Abihatsa shortly after the National Treasury began distributing NGCDF to constituents in batches to assist in the construction of classrooms and laboratories. According to Abihatsa, there is a severe lack of infrastructure in primary schools, and additional time is required to accommodate sufficient preparations for the transition from grade 6 to junior secondary. There is insufficient infrastructure in primary schools. With the addition of NGCDF, additional buildings can be constructed. Added Silas Abihatsa. Following the resolution of a standoff over the administration of the NGCDF kitty, which is worth 44 billion Kenyan shillings, the Attorney General approved the disbursement of the National Government Constitution Development Fund. To add, Babu Oino, a member of Parliament for Mbakasi East, has increased his attacks on President William Ruto and his Kenya Kwanzaa administration. The legislator suggested adding Ruto's name to the Oxford English Dictionary in a Facebook statement on January 5. Babu stated that the head of state ought to be included in the dictionary because his name will be mentioned the most in Kenya in 2022. Babu stated, I think Oxford Dictionary should consider creating a space for Ruto in the dictionary because he was the most mentioned name in Kenya last year. Babu stated that the head of state ought to be included in the dictionary because his name will be mentioned the most in Kenya in 2022. The legislator offered two possible meanings for the name that, according to him, would make sense in a dictionary. Ruto. Adjective Ru 2. Ruto. Hard, difficult. To complicate, to make things worse, to make it unbearable, Babu continued. Oh, Remgius. I wish I had gone to school like Babu Oino, and I am very sure that Babu Oino will be the president of this country in 2032. Babu Oino has always been a very intelligent man. Jeremiah. Ambain. Keep up the good work, Babu, you're ruthlessly busy making yourself the doyen for 2027. Danevibs. Purity I guess rudifications may be the reason I haven't yet rudified the 600 hustler funds, Cassius Clay. You are comfortably riding the horse that Ryla gave you. Freedom of speech. In the 1990s, we would search every cell and morgue for people who make such public statements. Nigel O'Rolly. It was an excellent interview, with questions and responses why. Negative rating Babu gave the president a negative rating on January 4 for how he has dealt with the high cost of living. The legislator from the Orange Democratic Movement, ODM, argued that Kenyans were burdened by poverty and that the president had failed to offer solutions. Babu gave Ruto a minus one rating for his first 100 days in office in a tweet on January 4. People in Kenya are burdened by poverty. It's too expensive to live there. Dr. Ruto, your efforts to date have been fruitless. I can give you minus one between zero and ten, he wrote. Hope you enjoy the video.